Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial inside this uh, angular 14 application we will be designing basically this virtual scroller basically if you scroll down here basically uh, dynamic data will be loaded here we have got a button out there if you click this button dynamic data will be loaded here automatically we'll see as i'm hitting this button more data has been lo loaded here and this scro uh, scroller height is increasing and this is basically a virtual scroller library which is present inside uh, uh, angular it's angular package which allows you to design this uh, scroller bar as you load more data inside this this can even be done inside a table as well but in this example we will be looking at a very simple list where we will initially if you load the page here we will showing only the 10 items for now as you can see we have eight items nine items and then we have got a button if you want to view it more so as you hit this button more data will be loaded and basically the height of the scroll bar will increase so this is doing it we are using this package which is ngx virtual scroller if you go to npmjs.com you will get to know about this package this is the package here and i have uh, given all the source code guys of this application that you basically will build out so if you check the description of the video i have given all the source code so this is basically the dependency 31000 weekly downloads are there so it's a very tremendous library so we are using this stack blitz in order to design this so let me just delete all the source code and start from scratch Let me also delete this and also delete. So the very first thing you need to do guys inside whenever you design your Angular application, you just need to go to app.module.ts file and here you need to import this module, which is the command is very simple npm ingx virtual scroller. After this, you just need to go to app.module.ts file and just import this module, which is ngx virtual scroller and inside this you will got basically this which is virtual scroller module so inside your import array you just need to basically add this so as you can see we are also importing the forms module so also you need to import the forms module at the very top and now you just need to go to app.component.html so right here basically we will have this directive which is virtual scroller so here you simply need to close this and inside this guys you just need to pass some options here let me zoom in here you need to pass scroll and then you need to pass the items that you will be showing here so this will be the variable and then we basically it has the various events out there but for now we will co only concentrate of in the items here so right inside this you will have a simple div and here we will use basically ng4 directive so this will initiate a simple for loop and basically we will loop through scroll dot viewport items so, so just write this viewport items so this we will declare it inside the, the TypeScript files. So we will be basically be embedding a simple paragraph where we will be showing the name of the item, which is inside double curly brackets, item dot name. That's all. And basically we will have a simple span tag where we will sh say to the user that if they want to see the more items, so view more like this and then we will have a simple button out there after this scroller we will have a button here and here you will say append data so whenever you click this button we will attach basically a click event handler here so we will call this method append data so we just need to declare this method inside the app.component.ts file so just go to this file so let me just so app.component.ts file so in this file here guys we just need to write some code here so first of all we just need to declare an items array which will be an empty array by default and then we will need to use the view child so this will be imported 
at the very top and here we will use the reference that we declared if you check we have declared this reference here which is scroll here so that's why we are passing it here so this variable will be scroller and this is of the type virtual scroller component so just put a semicolon and now we will uh, having a constructor inside the constructor we will have the which is change detector ref and this also is imported here you will see change detector ref this is coming from the core angular library and inside this basically we will have a for loop let i is equal to 1 so we will load the uh, nine items if you load the page so i plus plus so we will running a for loop here and inside this this dot items dot push and we will push basically this on object we will push out with the name here which is item and then concatenate the i so as you can see guys uh, item one item two in the right hand side as you can see we are loading these nine items here by default and we have got a button out there if you click this button nothing happens because we need to here I think view more is coming okay I think this needs to outside yeah this is not part of the loop so now it is looking great so after this view more is there so now we just need to initialize this function append data so right here we will define this append data function so inside this function guys we will uh, basically push another item here which is we will push the name here which is uh, item and then we will simply say that this dot items dot length plus one we will simply increment it by one so if the item is ninth we will increment with you will see item 10th will be shown item 11 as you can see so now there is a problem guys as I am just hitting this button the items are loading but the scroll bar is not uh, uh, going downwards so for fixing this problem basically we also need the scroll bar to come downwards for doing this it's very simple we will simply say this dot items is equal to this dot items dot slice so now if you hit this nothing happens but we just need to write this line to automatically make the scroll bar responsive so this dot scroller and this contains a method which is scroll to index we will pass the index number here which will be this dot items dot length so whatever is the last element it will scroll down to now you will see that so this is basically the logic behind guys this line this dot scroller scroll to index and it will scroll down you can also pass any element here let's suppose one you will see it will only scroll to the first element so this is really important you can see that so now we can define these uh, event skies which is uh, you can just initialize so whenever the scroller starts, updates, changes, the value changes, all that stuff. Now to attach these attributes, basically this come. You can assign these events here using these attributes. So right here at the very top. Update, change, start and end. So if you check the console here. These events fire automatically whenever you can see update fires automatically whenever the value changes you can see so this is basically the application guys how to design basically this uh, virtual scroller inside uh, to load infinite items whenever you press the button and load dynamic data all the source code is given in the description of the video thank you very much for watching this video